Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Rejuvenation Blind Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we completed this shitty puzzle. Let's continue on first, and then we did see another room with more puzzles in it. Shucky did die too, and I need to find a way to replace him. But, um, I wanted to see if this was like the right way or the wrong way or what I'm doing here. That's the second time this place isn't going to collapse on top of us, right? Oh, I don't know about all of that. Hopefully not. Okay, here's the PC. Um, Shucky, my poor friend, you are dead. Rip. Now give me your mystic water. Um, that being said, what do I have? I have for alligator who doesn't know any water moves. <laughs> I have Bulby, who's not a bad choice, but he's not water. Um, I have the shadow slack off I should really put into the PC or something. I have Finneon, I have Lumneon, I have this Evan the Eevee, who could be a Vaporeon if I wanted. Do I have... Hold on. Do I happen to have, like, a Water Stone? I've collected a lot of weird stones. There's a Thunderstone, but not... Oh, I do have water. I have four water stones. Okay, let's do that, actually. I think that's going to be the best idea for me. Let's take out Evan. Let's turn him into a Vaporeon. Yes, Evan. Live your best life. Yeah, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. He's a Vaporeon. Wants to learn water gun. Sure, instead of... What's Trump card? And it's, huh, that's interesting. Let's keep that, but let's get rid of Refresh, I guess. And Aurora Beam, sure, let's get rid of Bite. Because you're going to be all special at this point, Evan. That being said, um, I know I can teach you things like Surf. Going to be much better than Water Gun. What else can you learn? I'm just trying to... Shadow Ball. Ooh, that's interesting for Evan to have. Let's do that instead of Swift. I like that trump card move idea, I think. Let's just see if there's anything crazy on here. Rock Smash, meh. Payday, meh. That's about it. But then I can start training up Evan in here instead of carrying a dead Shucky with me. Which I don't have any of the experience candies. We won't plan on using Evan for anything. But he's in my back pocket. He's he's there. He's there and he's ready. Oh, all of this was just to get access to the PC? question mark, Or did I miss something else here? I missed something else here. It's right here. Oh, it's one of you. What? Why are you bothering us again? <laughs> my, my, I must say, playing with you two has been fun, but I'm afraid all good things must eventually come to an end. Even this petty game that was only a mere distraction for you two. A, a distraction? All this was a distraction? Well, of course. I mean, didn't you also realize this? Remember now, children, what did you say before Esther disappeared? Looks like we don't really miss anything. We didn't really miss anything in the last room, so let's keep going. But actually, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, yeah. It is a distraction. Just to throw you off, apparently. Indeed, and you fell for it so easily, too. Wait! If this was all a distraction, then that means that Sarah... That's correct, Sarah entered that door a long time ago. Quiz time, children. When did Sarah enter the door? From the start. Sarah put us under the impression that we would both be searching for the same thing at the same time, when in reality she worked behind the door while you two acted as our distraction. That's correct. Then that means Sarah already got her hands on the magma stone? Even I cannot say. Seems like Sarah ran into some trouble. She ran into some trouble? I've already said too much. In fact, I think I've spent too much time here as well. Sarah may need help to deal with that thing. Oh, and before I go, the mechanism used to open that door is just up ahead. But I wouldn't bother with such a thing. Unless you know someone who is knowledgeable about Garufian culture, you won't be able to use it. That and, well, I don't think using them would make would be preferable. But that's for you to, two to decide for yourselves. Goodbye, children. Oh, somebody was well-versed in Garufa. Was it Melia? 
because we don't know anything about Garufian culture. Actually, there's someone who might know. The eldest. Oh, it was the eldest. So we need to get to Sheridan to have her help. And there was a Team Zen member. Oh, jeez. I'm on post stage and Alita banned. You may be the new sensei, but you have no authority to ban Alita. What about my hair? It burned when they ruined my gym. I advised against building your gym inside the mountain, but you refused to listen to me. Besides, you're young. Your hair will grow back. You're the eldest of the village. You're supposed to follow what I say. That's where you're wrong. I'm your advisor, not as you, not your yes man. Then what good are you? Oh, <gasps> eldest. Can you just throw the eldest into the fucking river? That's a problem. Let's go kill him. Texan, I'll kill you. Where are you? Stupid son of a bitch. Is he hiding from me? Coward. Still looks like it's a party in here. Whatever. It's so strange how that's changed. Alright, well let's go look for the eldest then. I thought Alita would do that, and then we would kill Texan, but it's fine. That certainly was an experience. Can't say that was the first time, though. What? Oh, no, Eldest, are you okay? You aren't hurt, are you? <laughs> as aggressive as it was, it was fun. I am unharmed, and everything is fine. Oh, Eldest, I'm glad you're okay. Texan, I'll get him for what he did to you. How can someone like him be sensei? You aren't going to like this, but I was the one who approved his position. Eldest, you agreed? Why? Yeah, Eldest, why would you approve him? No one else fit the bill for the position. Please, have faith in my choice. I, I can't. I just can't. What about you? Do you stand by this decision after he pushed you like this? Alita, please. <sighs> We're going to have to long talk, but for now, i got to set that aside. Have you heard about the Garufa? Alita, where did you hear about the Garufins? So you do know. Good. Sage and I found a Garufin settlement inside of Kuratos. We need you to come with us. Absolutely not. I refuse to go. Eldest, you're being super stubborn today, and I don't know why. The Groovins are known to dabble with the dark arts. Disaster is imminent for all those who delve into that evil magic. Let me guess, this is to protect me, right? That's correct. Eldest, I'm tired of you using that as an excuse for everything. Even though Texan is the sensei right now, I'm going to be in that position someday, and there will be a point where you won't be there to protect me anymore. You have to let me grow on my own. This is important. You sounded like her just then. Almost exactly the same. Huh? No, it's nothing. Alita, you're right. There are many things in this world you're ignorant about, but you must learn about them eventually. Take me then, show me the way. I'll just thank you, you won't regret it. About that, I'll meet you guys there. Maybe I should have went at the same time, but I kind of want to go raise up Vaporeon. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back, and as you can see... I've got little Evan here, who has water absorb, he's got Aurora Beam, Shadow Ball, Surf, and Hydro Pump, holding the Mystic Water, he's quite the beast, as we love, I mean, all the evolutions are always really good, so, and now we gotta run all the way back through here, which, the only reason I'm showing this is in case I run into a shiny, I'm hoping that, like, <laughs> having you guys watch this will increase my shiny luck, and talking about it, you know, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see. You never know. Oh, hello, Roly Coley, you little weirdo. Bruh, the encounter rate through here is so ridiculous. But they're making me suffer for wanting to um, raise up Vaporeon in between. Like, do a little cut and raise him. They're like, mmm, boy. Now you're going to have to pay for that. Oh, God, we got to go through the freaking Corrupted Cave, too. I forgot how much there was to this. Whatever. Maybe something will be shiny in here too, right? I mean, that'd be cool. Alright, let's... Do, 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 do. We know we don't go right because it's a dead end. We're going! We're trucking along! Hello, Sandalit. Unless you're going to be shiny, stay out my face, please. Hello, Survivor. We're just looking for shinies. Is that uh, is that something that I could have, please? No? Okay. Am I not? Oh, it's for lava, magma, blah, blah, blah. All right, back in the Garufa ruins. The thing is, this is the place. I never would have guessed that a place like this hid underneath Sheridan. 
Isn't it fascinating? It looks like Sheridan has its own share of secrets that we don't know. Wait a second. This pad wasn't here before, at least. I think it wasn't. Uh, oh, dear. There are many... There are more people down here. Team Zen found their way down here, too. Ugh. It never ends. Come on, Sage. Let's show them a thing or two. Well, wait. I'm not trying to fight you. Not like I can, can anyway. My Pokemon are too tired. What? You're not here to fight? Then what are you doing down here? Well, I live here. I'm sorry. You live here? Yes. I've been living here for quite a while, but where are my manners? My name is Talman. By chance, have you guys seen those notes scattered around the cave? Because I, uh, I wrote them. Oh, shit. You were the one who wrote those notes around the cave? Crescent destroyed the Zen lab a long time ago. How have you been surviving? I had to help my, the help of my Pokemon, but they're no longer in any condition to fight. None of this matters, though. You guys came down here, which means there's a way out, yes? Well, yes. Lead the way, then. I can't wait to get out of here safe and sound. Sorry, but we're not leaving until we take care of some business. What could you possibly do in a dump like this? We're trying to open that door over there, but you're holding us up. Huh? That large door over there? Why don't you just say so? That part is easy. Come on, I'll show you. Should we follow him? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to. It sounds like he just wants to get out of here. Alright, fine. Okay, but before I do that, I want to go try this other puzzle. Which, <laughs> I know you guys got sick of me watching the puzzles in the last episode, and this next one seems very, very difficult. But it'll most likely be worth it if we do it. So, let's do it. Look at all the Groudons around here. Alright, this isn't the one. We did this one. It's <laughs> it's this one. Ugh. Okay, so let's kind of memorize here. The two shellos go here. Blue and red. That should be easy to remember. Starly, Shinx, Slugma down, Apple, Ammonite, Lopunny, and then Dark Riot looking it all over. Maybe I should... Hold on. I swear I've had some supplies at some point in my life. Are they no longer here? Supplies? Supplies? I guess I could use this weird picture of bell peppers that I drew one time. And I'll do it like that on here. Okay. Because it doesn't have to be crazy, but just some notes. So we'll do Lopunny over here, Dark Rye over here. And that's his, like, shelf, right? Because that's the shelf, and we enter here. This is where we enter. And Starly's right there. And then down here is blue and pink. And then over here is, there's like, this like weird stair thing. And in here goes slug. And over here is Shinx. And then Apple. Yeah, because then it goes over here like this. And it's Apple. And um, Midnight. Okay. Alright. That's my notes. <laughs> and we're going to do this freaking puzzle. So the Apple needs to go up. That's one thing I do know. So we'll get him trucking. So he needs to go in that spot up there. So I need to be mindful of how I push him around the stairs, get him up there. Let's have Miss Starly move. Just a second, because if I can get Apple done, that'll just help with everything else. And he's like kind of by himself. Ammonite is what goes here. Starly needs to go all the way down. Jesus. Okay. Starly's like down by the entrance. That's where this needs to go. So <laughs> we're going to work on it. Let's go ahead and push the Starly down. Ooh, the Shellos is in the way. Shellos. Hold on. Before I make that push, how would I... No, there's no use going that way with Shellos. Because you can't get to the left side. and So we got to stop. We got to go this way with Starly. All the way down. I just had to check if it was safe. And then we can push this around. Hmm. Yeah, we can push you up. Because then up here I'm able to move you again. 
All right, Starly, that was a long journey, but you made it. Shellos, you need to get out of there. We can't actually get you out that way. So we'll get you down here, because we know Shellos has to go all the way down. So we'll take the same trek that we just did with Starly. While Ammonite is kind of occupado, you know? <laughs> okay. So I need to get him to the left somehow, but I think I'd have to do... Let's get Lopunny out of here. Let's clear the gates first. Lopunny and Shinx are in here, and that's just annoying. We don't need that. Here, Shillos. Let's have you just move up one, because I can recover you from that. And we can get Lopunny out of here. And we'll work on that in a minute, but we got to get Lopunny all the way to the top. And Shinx, we got to do a similar kind of rotated movement to get you out. But it only makes sense. Okay, and we'll just leave Shinx like one square lower in the process of where we were going. So then I can get you to go this way. We have to do like a full rotation, but the blue one goes on the left. From here, I can push you right and then down. I'm like trying to like plan shit out in my mind, you know? Make sure I don't do anything stupid. But that's where the blue one goes. Alright. Alright. Ammonite, you go up. So if we're doing the up train now, this is the time. Ammonite, you go there. This Shellos goes all the way down, so might as well do a nice little transfer here. We're on the move, everyone. Hmm. Lopunny, you're kind of in the way, so let's just push you that way. Shinx, you're also kind of in the way. Let's push you similarly, but not all the way into Lopunny, because that would be problems. Alright, Shellos. We're traveling, girl. Because then this way, I just got to go like, boom. Hmm. Probably smarter to push her down like this, kind of like I did with the other one. Alright, the Shellos are in their places, so that's good. Starly's in his place, Shinx and Lopunny are over here chilling, they're like, what the hell. Shinx, oh actually Shinx, you stay down here, bud. Hold on. That's where you'll go. Lopunny, we gotta move you up. She's on her way up. Do it like that, then like this. Okay, Lopunny's in place. Now let's get Shinx into place. Now I just need to figure out Slugma and Darkrai. There's Darkrai. Where the frick is Slugma in you? Oh, they gotta like transfer spots. Alright, Slug, let's go. Um, hmm. You gotta do it like this, I guess. Annoying. But I see the moves that must be made. Boom, not too bad. Slugma's in place. Now it's just a little dark ride that we gotta worry about. Gotta get him all the way up the stairs, but we already kinda know that you can't well, hold on. I guess I could. I just, it requires some movement like this. And then going back around. To make Dark Rice hit on the shelf. Alright. Boom! God, that was annoying. What do I get for all those troubles? 
Oh. Uh... Sure, Litton. Strange statue of a Pokemon. Touch the statue. Oh, so I get to fight. Oh, it's a real life Zoro. Zorua, too, huh? Well, let's just start chucking balls at it if I can catch it. Oh, man. And it's a girl. That's cute. Yeah, I'm just not trying to hurt you that bad, Zora, because you're level 30 only. And that would really fuck with us. Come on, bro. Why are you wiggling three times every time and then just not doing it? Come on. Um... Let's just heal. Litten can hold the fort here. I would be down to poison it with Phineas if it wasn't toxic, but toxic will, like, kill things. These dust balls are better for dark places, right? I'd assume this place is pretty dark. Zoro, I just get in the ball, boy. Girl, I mean. Sorry, I misgendered you. That's probably why you're not getting the ball. My pretty little princess, get in there. Bruh. Let's check everybody's summaries for moves. Because it's like, you don't have anything like that. You have toxic, man. Yeah, we don't have any just like straight up status moves. Which I guess I should. Like hypnosis or something. Or thunder wave. That would all be nice. Because Zoro is obviously going to have a pretty rough catch rate here. Try Premier Ball. You like that better? Yeah, it had a lower catch rate. But I, I thought it was worth a shot. Come on, stay in there. Bruh. You're not even trying to stay in there anymore. Ah, oh, yes! Got her! Yay! Yes, and she's a girl. Let's name her Zoe. There you go, Zoe. Yay in the K. Nice. Okay, that puzzle was totally worth it. It was hella annoying, but it was worth it. Was there anything else that I'm missing around here? Other than catching little Zorawas and living our best lives? There's no, like, alternative exit? Okay. So now we're just going after Sarah and her maidens or whatever. Let's save after catching them. Because like, if the game crashes or something, and I have to redo that puzzle, I'll kill myself. That would suck. And then this was a way to go get the item, right? On this side. I wonder how to get to the other side and get an item. What's to the far right of this? Because this is just like that. Is there a way to get right eventually? This goes back left to the PC or whatever. And then I can go this way. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go, game. Screw you. Just kidding. What does this really get me? I was like, <laughs> game. But, like, really, what, what does that accomplish for me? Nothing. Okay, well. Good thing I did it. Is this the pad where he led us before? Yeah, it, it totally is. Okay, cool. That being said, is everybody healed? I guess I could give a berry ice cream to my boy Litten. Alright. This shows... Okay, that's interesting. It obviously has something to do with... And you're sure this is the way to open the door? Yes. The books around these parts have specifically given these instructions. Are those... Are these books you mentioned? How did you read them? The language in these books should not be readable by just anyone. I found that weird too, but I found another book that suddenly gave me the ability to read it. So, all we have to do is stand on these markings? Yes, but... For it to work, someone else will have to stand on the markings located in the adjacent room. Once you do that, the doors downstairs will open. Easy, let's get to it then. There are two small catches, though. Well, actually, just one. Don't worry about the second one. I got that one covered. Two people must be standing on the markings at, the, at all times for the doors to remain open. If someone steps off of them, the doors will close. Fine, if that's the case, Alina, I want you to stay behind and stand on these markings. What? what? Not a chance. I'll be going into that room with Sage. Nonsense. I'm not going to let you endanger yourself. I'm an old woman, Alita. I've lived my life. If anything happens to me, then it won't matter. Plus, you know, brittle bones and all. I can't stand in one place for too long. <laughs> but 
That's final, Lolita. Ah! Why is everyone so stubborn? I'm getting the low-key vibes that the eldest is about to die. That was just a weird, like... That was just weird. Well, Sage, let's make our way to that door. That was a weird little speech. Why'd she have to mention that? I make Alita stay behind on purpose. If you told me two weeks ago that I'd be underground in an ancient ruin, I wouldn't have believed you. I'm far too old for this, but a promise to Kita and an old friend is a promise. It looks like the door is about to open. Oof, that heat. This is the feeling of heat being trapped for centuries. Hopefully I won't get heat stroke in this place. Alright, shall we? Sure. It seems like the corruption has spread to these areas as well. All of this has become Team Zen's meddling. All because of Team Zen's meddling. This damage cannot be undone. I sense a great power ahead of us. You should probably prepare yourself before going on ahead. Oh. What happened to you? S to stop. Don't go any farther. Please, don't push yourself. You're not in a good condition. How did you get in here? We used the power of Angie's flyers, but we didn't know what was in here. The power of the beast ahead is very great, Sage. It's no use. Just turn back now. The magma stone is indeed here, but the risk of obtaining it isn't worth it anymore. You, sh you, you should just run. She's God. So my senses were true. Something powerful rests here. Let's move on, Sage. It seems sketchy. To those who wish to call the legendary beast, the ones who hold or open the path shall be punished for treason. No mercy. Oh. Okay, well, this seems intense. And what that means for me is that I want to leave. <laughs> what I want to do... Where is... Cool, it took me all... Oh, game. Game. Oh, I swear to fucking God. I'm hitting all directions. What do I do here? Oh shit. I'm stuck. <laughs> well, good thing I saved. Um, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here because I'm stuck. Good, okay, I saved after I did the Zorua, right? So, that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re-do um, all the sequences before, but I'm also going to go to town and buy more great balls and stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. God, my dog's annoying me. Um, I can't believe I crashed like this. Weird. Alright, well make sure to smash that like button for me to show you support for the series. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. I love you guys so much and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't use a freaking escape rope in the crack the cave. Now we know. Ugh.